Hey team, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, my name is Hayden. I have reviewed a whole bunch of stuff on my channel over the years, from skincare, to gadgets, home decor, and of course, men's fashion. But never have I ever reviewed my own stuff. Quite a few YouTubers have their own merchandise and you see the little store icon below the description box. So we're all aware that they exist. I haven't actually ever purchased from my own before. That's what we're gonna look at today. See if my merchandise shop, which is powered by Spreadshop, is any good. And this is obviously not a sponsored video because it's my store. And this would be really embarrassing if it turns out that they were crap and I'm actively promoting them. I picked out three things from the shop Two of which are very practical. They are things that I would use all the time. And the other one, I used to have a prototype, which was a three quarter sleeve with the logo on it. And over the years, it's kind of just disappeared. So I thought it was time to get a little replacement. The three things that we are looking at today is the, the unisex baseball t-shirt in size medium, which was 42, 49 Australian dollars, which I'm thinking I'm going to have to review that price. Cause that's, that's a little hefty for a three quarter sleeve shirt. We are also looking at the recycled duffel bag, which looked pretty good in the product pictures, which is $30.99. And then we're gonna look at the apron. Now I am a chef. I was a commercial chef for 12 years. I don't cook commercially anymore. However, I do do all of the cooking in here at home. And I do tend to get messy. So an apron, I haven't had an apron in many, many years and I don't know why. I, I cannot tell you why I don't own one. So I thought, why not? Now I have the things right here. They, I did pay express shipping and it did take around two weeks for the items to be delivered. So without further ado, let's rip it open and see if my stuff is any good. I will say the packaging from Spreadshop, it's actually pretty cute. What looks to be the shirt and the apron is together. But interesting, it's not in a plastic pouch. It's just, I guess it's already in a plastic pouch. Here is the three quarter shirt out of the packaging right here. It does look a little on the thin side, a little sheer, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I like the way that the logo looks. I like that it's not uh, just a stick on that they have ironed on. It looks to be that it's actually been dyed in, like with screen printing. Because there's nothing that's raised on it. And it's actual, actually feels like cotton. I'm going to check that. It is 50% polyester and 50% cotton. We will obviously check out our construction as we always do. It looks very good. You can see right here, there is absolutely nothing you don't see anything that's sticking out. You can see the stitching right down there. It's very clean. I don't see any frays or any tears. You can see me behind. You can see it's a little on the see-through side, but we are gonna try it on as we always do. But as it looks, I am impressed. From my first impressions, it looks to be bigger than a medium, but let's try it on. Okay, now that I have it on, it feels very comfortable. It's very flattering, but it is a little sheer. So here we have the shirt. You can actually see where my jeans begin. And if I come up closer, you can clearly see my nipples. So other than the fact that it is on the sheer side, this was actually the first product that I designed to put on the store and then it evolved from there. That being said, it is very comfortable. There is absolutely nothing that I feel is going to be irritating. There's a lot of movement. It does feel like it's going to breathe. And I do like how flattering it is on the body. Off to a rocky start, other than the fact that it is slightly see-through. They make the cut, the logo, the print happy about. Let's dive into the next one. We have the apron, which by the way, feels very sturdy. Here it is. It's always a bit of a kick to see the logo. Feels quality. We have the apron. It's got the GXG logo on there. I don't believe 
it's cotton, but it does feel like it. We will find out. Okay, it is 100% cotton. Just from the feel of it, it feels quality. It's more on the thicker side, like I said before. Now we've never actually reviewed aprons before on this channel, but we're gonna check out the construction and treat it like anything else. We will have a look at our seams. Now there are a few threads at the top. You can see that. They are the ends of threads, so if I pull them, they don't actually go anywhere. You can see the seam all the way down the side. There is nothing that's hanging out. You don't see any bunching where the seams meet the fabric. And that continues all the way down on the back side of the apron and right across the bottom. Let's try it on. Now I do have a rather large head, but that seemed to go on pretty easily. I like the length of the drawstrings because it is able to fit a bunch of body types. I like that there is double pockets in the front and I will zoom you out so we can get a better look. Here we have the apron. I feel like it's going to really protect my shirt. I'm not sure if it was smart to get it in white on my behalf, but, but that's where we landed. Here we have our apron. It's a very good length. You can see that it's got the double pockets in the front. It's not shared pocket. There's a seam in the center. I like that the logo is right in the middle and I don't feel like that there is anything that's going to irritate whilst wearing this. I feel like it's very sturdy because the drawstring, the neck and the tie that goes around your back, it's one single cord that's been sewn in. I feel like it's got a bit of structure to it. I shall be using this very soon. And that leaves the last item, the duffel bag, which I myself have been looking forward to the most. I am a big lover of duffel bags. I have one here already, the infamous Country Road duffel bag. So I'm hoping for the 30 something dollars, this is gonna be worth it. This has a bit of a funky smell. I'm gonna be honest, straight out the gate, you can notice it. Hopefully that will dissipate. It feels decent, like a good quality canvas. We have it right here. I can envision myself using this traveling. Not so much going to the gym because I prefer to have a compartment on the end where I can zip off all my sweaty clothes and they're not gonna just roam about in the inside of the bag. It feels like it's got a decent amount of structure to it. Now there are quite a few threads on this one. You can see on the canvas handle. And again, if we pull it, it stays put, so it's just the loose end. It's got a pretty sturdy Velcro on top. From what I can tell, there are two main compartments, the bigger one, and then the little pocket at the front, which has a zip off. I really like the way the logo turned out. Having a look on the inside, it comes with the shoulder strap off to the side. It's actually got a decent amount of space in there. You can see in comparison, ooh, <laughs> that does not smell good in there. It's quite large. I could easily fit a bunch of stuff in there. And that would be a good travel size with your carry-on luggage. It comes with the two zippers in the main compartment. Overall construction, it's got that thick canvas-like material as I mentioned. And other than those two threads that were coming out of the handle part, I don't see anything else that potentially set off alarm bells. The stitching along the side here, where this, these two seams meet, it's very clean. We'll check out the inner seam where the flap of the zipper folds over. I don't see anything that could potentially signify that the bag's about to like fall apart. We'll look on the inside where the straps meet the body of the bag. It looks very good, very professional. You can see all the way in, even the bottom seam, how clean that stitching is. I am impressed with a duffel bag. Now all in all, of the three products that I got, even though the shirt was more on the sheer side and it's quite expensive which again i will review that i'm happy with all three i do see myself wearing the shirt to say the beach or the pool it'll be something that's nice in summer it gives you a bit of sun coverage as well as being able to breathe the apron i'll definitely use again and obviously the duffel bag i am a fan now i usually would say i'll link everything down below for you to check out yourself but it is literally in the spread shop merchandise that is under every video so if you do want to check it out go for it thanks for watching team make sure we do the fun stuff but most importantly stay tuned